Hey everyone, welcome back to another movie reaction. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've reacted to a few movies that have some comedic moments, but I have not yet reacted to an actual comedy. A lot of the movies I have done have been action-packed and intense, so I'm ready for a good laugh. And today I'll be reacting to Airplane. Now it's from 1980, so it kind of fits with the 80s and 90s theme that we we have going and depending on how how much i enjoy that i'll be maybe continuing other comedies afterwards i have no idea in terms of what the premise of this movie is i really don't have a, any idea of I'm trying to go into it as blind as possible. The only thing I'm guessing is it's about an airplane, um, just based on the title alone. Other than that, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. So let's get right to it before we do so. However, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. We also have a Patreon, which gives you early access to all of our full length unedited reactions. Oh, there's your 80s music. It's kind of ominous music though. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is strictly a comedy or if there's other genres in it as well, like drama or horror. I'm not a horror person, so I don't... I hope not. Love the exclamation mark after airplane. I wonder... I wonder what the significance of that is. There is no stopping in the red zone. The white zone is passengers only. There is no stopping in the red zone. Hello, we'd like you to have this flower. Would you care to make a donation? No, but thank you anyway. <laughs> I love how she just takes the flower and doesn't give him what he wants. There's no stopping in the white zone. Oh no, how many times do we have to listen to this announcement? There is no stopping in the red zone. I'm gonna have that burned in my memory by the end of the movie. Don't tell me which zone is for stopping <laughs> and which zone is for voting. Listen, buddy, don't start up with your white zone shit again. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, we'd like you to have this flower. Would you like to make a donation? We gave it the office. <laughs> I wonder how true that is. I'll be back in a minute. We'd like you to have this flower. <laughs> of religious consciousness. Would you kick? Well, he gave his jacket. I think that's a pretty nice donation. Hey, Larry, where's the forklift? It's over there for the baggage loader. Okay. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh jeez! That would be terrifying. Oh my goodness. Elaine! Ted! I came home and found your note. I, I know things haven't been right for a long time. If you're just patient, I can work things out. I have been patient. Don't you feel anything for me at all anymore? It takes many things to make love last. It takes respect. I can't live with the man I don't respect. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder what their backstory is. Hope we get to find out. What a pisser. Oh jeez. <laughs> I love how he kind of looked at the audience there. Oh. <laughs> Is that a real magazine? Oh my god, whacking material. <laughs> Jesus. This is going to be a doozy. This is Captain Over. This is Dr. Brody at the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight. She's scheduled for a heart transplant. You to make sure that she's kept line physician. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? Emergency call for you on line five from a Mr. Ham. All right, give me Ham on five. Hold the mail. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You'll be back in town tomorrow night. I won't be back. I promise I can change. Then why didn't you take the jobs offered you at Bowie? I haven't been able to get near a lane since the war. They wouldn't hire me because of my war record. It's ancient history. What's hurt you does your record since the war? Elaine, if you just give me one it's more... It's too late. I'm sorry. Ooh, ouch. We'd like you to have this flower from the church of his conscience. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I kind of understand his mood that he's not really in the mood for that, but wow. Any word on that uh, storm lifting over Salt Lake, Clarence? No, not likely, Victor. I double checked the terminal forecast and some light scattered cover at 20 fishing around 18. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Latest weather report shows everything socked in from Salt Lake to Lincoln. Well, so there's no clear routes for them to fly? Oh, wow, that. Airplane interior is so old. There you go, thank The you. seats look roomier, though. Can you tell me if Elaine Dickinson is on this flight? 
Oh yeah, she is on board. Can you give that information? Isn't that confidential? Ticket to Chicago. No baggage. No baggage. I love the pun there. Smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, please. Ooh, smoke. I forgot they had smoking uh, on planes and in places back there. Primary target covered by fog. The decision is yours. Shit, man. That hunky muff be messing my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down his head. Hey, yo, I can dig it. <laughs> Subba say I won't see. Uh. I love how they have subtitles for their lingo. See a bra to get that booty out. Lay her down <laughs> and smack him, <laughs> yak him. <laughs> yo, <laughs> shit. I wonder if he's going to get back with her or if he's going to find somebody else or she will. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Okay, so this is the little girl that's going to have the heart transplant. You relax and I'll be back right after we take off. Mm. God, Bill, I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, I'm going to miss you too. Bill? Uh -huh. All aboard! Goodbye, Bill! I love you, darling! <laughs> Goodbye, darling! Oh, jeez. <laughs> he better not hang out of the plane there. Goodbye, darling! Oh, oh no! Jeez. <laughs> oh, she did it twice in a row? Zero Niner, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger. Huh? Three point Niner. Roger. Huh? West Vector, over. What? Four. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. Clearance, Clarence. Oh, my God. <laughs> Clarence, over. So many over. puns in this Roger. already. Huh? So something's gonna go wrong, but what is it? So they were talking about bad weather. I wonder if there's gonna be a weather event. Dad, what are you doing here? Elaine, I've got to talk to you. You, you shouldn't have come. I don't have time now. Excuse me. Poor Ted. No wonder you're upset. She's lovely and a darling figure. Oh no. Such <laughs> pouting breath. Oh, well, way to make him feel worse. <laughs> Things used to be different. I remember when we first met. Ooh, we're gonna get a flashback. We used to hang out at the Mogumbo Bar, populated with every reject and cutthroat guy. It's worse than Detroit. You could count on a fight breaking out almost every night. Wow, these two are vicious. Oh my goodness. These two are crazy. Oh. Oh my goodness. Seen, this, seen that trope before. Staying alive. I like this song. But suddenly, there she was. Mm. I had to ask the guy next to me to pinch me to make sure I wasn't dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. But that night, fate was on my side. Looks like she was dancing with some other guy. Oh. oh my god, he's dancing with a knife in his back? What the hell? Jeez. This movie is so bizarre. Love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna strip tease her? <laughs> oh my goodness! How far did he throw her? She's... Oh my gosh, she must be so strong! <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, they brought the place down. Ah! Oh, not another cat fight. I never wanted it to end. But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that what? whenever I start to talk about Elaine, I always... She, what? Did she hang herself? Look at here. I can take grease and chomp it on some butter and drag him through the garden. Oh no, we need a translator. I happen to be passing. I thought you'd might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. What? <laughs> oh my 
god. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we get a flashback from Elaine's perspective. Really interesting to get the two different perspectives. We have Ted's and we have Elaine's. <laughs> I never knew I could be so happy. Tomorrow, why don't we drive up the coast? My orders came through. My squadron ships out tomorrow. When will you be back? It's classified. I love you, Elaine. I love you. <laughs> I love the seaweed. It's a cute touch. Well, a moment of regret there. Ooh, what is going to happen to the plane? You're approaching some rough weather. Ooh. Climb to 42,000 feet. We have a visitor. So this is Joey Hammond. Joey, we have something here for our special visitors. Thank you. You ever been in a cockpit before? Never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? What? You ever hang around the gymnasium? We better get back now. Joey can stay here for a while. Wait a minute. I know you. You're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You what? You must have me confused mm -hmm. with someone else. Mm -hmm. I'm the co-pilot. You are Kareem. My name is Roger Murdoch. I'm an airline pilot. My dad says you don't work hard enough on defense. Oh, no. <laughs> and that you don't really try, except during the playoffs. The hell I don't. Listen, oh. kid. <laughs> I'm out there busting my buns every night. So why is he, if he's a basketball player, why is he a co-pilot? I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different. Like it was in the beginning, remember? I remember everything. I remember how you used to hold me. How I used to sit on your face and wake up. <laughs> oh my god! This movie is too much. Not as long as you insist on living in the past. Interesting. So there's a theme of memories and the past and the fact that Ted is... Elaine has memories of Ted, but Ted obviously had trauma in the war. Ooh. They've cleared you of any blame for what happened on that raid. Six men didn't return from that raid. Seven, Lieutenant Zip died. Tris Sandler says she'll be out in a week. You could say the same for George Zip. Nobody expects you to get over this. Well, it's something you, that weighs on you for your life. Oh. What's his world? He thinks he's Ethel Merman. You'll be swell. Gonna have the whole world on a plate. Stop here. <laughs> oh my Stop goodness. Or as hell. There's a little girl on board up front. Could I borrow your guitar? I thought maybe I could cheer her up. Thank you. Oh, these airline attendants are so nice. Oh, oh. oh geez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just after I said that. Oh, you have a guitar. I thought maybe you'd like to hear a song. I'd love to. I traveled the banks river of Jordan. Find where it flows to the sea. And I saw that I was <laughs> looking at me. Told me again and again There is only one river Oh, oh no There is only one sea And it flows oh. through me Oh We are all one spirit Okay, she got it back in We are the father Oh, oh no Oh Wow, okay, that was a bit of a silly moment there. How's the weather? We got some heavy stuff ahead of us. It might get rough again unless we can climb on top. Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. Oh no, he's gonna bore someone else with a story. At first, they didn't know what to think of us. Soon we gained their trust. <laughs> oh my god. Help you better prepare storing food. Nice elephant, wow. <laughs> I think they're getting the hang of it. Ted, I don't want to stay here. It's time for us to go back home. Plans we made before the war. A lot of people made plans before the war, like George Zip. He doesn't want to get on a plane, I'm guessing. Elaine had doubts about our relationship, and that led to my drinking problem. <laughs> what? Go on for hours, but I'd probably start to bore you. I really couldn't blame Elaine. <gasps> she wanted a career. Oh no, he's gonna... Oh no. Yes? Oh, it's my stomach. Felt this awful since we saw that Ronald Reagan film. Oh, no. Captain, one of the woman passengers is very sick. Very sick? I think so, but I've never seen it so acute. Find out if there's a doctor on board as quietly as you can. Oh, jeez. I should have had that second cup of coffee. Oh, no. He's sick, too? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, jeez. Everybody's sick. <coughs> oh, no. Bad food? 
Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. You were a doctor? That's right. We have some passengers that are very sick. Could you come take a look? Oh, oh no. Let me see your tongue. What? Oh, what? <laughs> she has eggs in her mouth? What the hell? Okay, so we know what's wrong with her. She just swallowed a bunch of eggs full. Oh, what? Oh. I'll be back oh. in a minute. This is bizarre. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients. Oh, jeez. How can you just be, like, spitting up eggs? That is, that is crazy. Oh, no, he's sick, too. Roger, take over. Oh, no, he's going to be sick, too. How soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. Not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? Can't land for another two hours. Oh, no! Oh, jeez! Oh, he's in his basketball outfit? What? Oh, Jesus. Oof. Man, that would be terrifying to be on a plane that snows diving. Oh. What is it, Doctor? What's going on? What was it we had for dinner? We had a choy, egg fish. I remember I had lasagna. There are two more sick people. Find out what the two sick people had for dinner. Got a little bumpy up here. A little bumpy, yeah. We're now flying over Hoover Dam. A little later on, we'll Ooh. pass out the Grand Canyon. Enjoy your flight, okay? Chicago, we're in trouble. We've got to have all traffic below it cleared. I love how he tells the patients everything's okay, and then he tells traffic control he's in trouble. One thing, do you know what he had for dinner? Of course, we both had fish. Why? It's nothing to be alarmed about. Bad fish. <laughs> that could be. Mr. Hemini ate fish. There are five more cases, and they all had fish, too. The co-pilot had fish. Every passenger who had fish for dinner will become ill in the next half hour. Oh. Oh no! The virus penetrates blood cells, the victim becomes dizzy because you experience an itchy rash. Poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing your muscles spasm. Oh! Inevitable oh, growth. Jesus, he's doing it! Oh! Quivering, wasted piece of jelly. Oh my god! Oh! Grab that plane! Oh my gosh! Oh no! <laughs> I'll go back to the passengers. I'm the stewardess. Captain Over's passed out on the floor. We're in terrible trouble, Over. Back to you in a minute. Hold all takeoff. Stan, go upstairs to the tower and get a runway diver. Terry, check down the field for emergency. Chief. Oh, jeez. They'll have to come through to Chicago. I want the best available man on this. A man who knows that plane inside and out. How about Mr. Rogers? Get me Rex Kramer. Who's Rex Kramer? Check your elbow. 35,000 feet. Wait, 34,000. It's dropping fast. Oh. Why is it doing that? Oh. The automatic pilot is deflating. There's a hollow tube. Pull it out and blow up. Oh my gosh. What the hell's going on up there? Oh no. This movie is so racy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Lane, unless I get all those people to a hospital quickly, I can't even be sure of saving their lives. Is there anyone on board who can land this plane? No, no one I know of. The life of everyone on board depends upon just one thing, finding someone back there who can not only fly this plane, but who didn't have fish for dinner. <laughs> She's not going to get Ted to do it, is she? This is your stewardess speaking. There's no reason to become alarmed. Has the, has the pilots being dragged up the center aisle? Is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is there people naked? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Here to pick up Captain Kramer? Come in, uh, Rex will be right out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> but as I say, they didn't have time to tell me very much. 
Oh no. But after a while. Oh, Jesus, that dog's relentless. He gets so excited. When Are you a pilot yourself? No, I'm in. <gasps> oh! What? I think after all oh, Jesus, what is this dog doing? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh, cheats and liars. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> When they built those roads, they thought of drainage in mind. Take it. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Since just the day before. His story can't be that bad. That everybody's just... Excuse me, sir. There's been a little problem in the cockpit. The cockpit? What is it? It's a little room in the front of the plane where the pilots... You see, the first officer is ill, and do you know anything about plane? Well, I flew mm. in the war, but that was years ago. Would you go up, please? Oh, no. Yeah, that way he doesn't have to light the match. <laughs> Crisis averted. Stewardess said that both pilots. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. Single engine fighters in the Air Force. This plane has four engines. It's an entirely different kind of flying altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind, kind of flying. flying. What? I know nothing about flying. You're the only chance we've got. No, oh, he's gonna have to overcome his fear. <laughs> Yeah, he probably has absolutely no idea what all that equipment is. I don't know how similar a fighter plane would be to a commercial aircraft, but probably quite different. Oh no. That guy's still there? What? Where the hell's Kramer? No, we can't do that. The risk of a flame is too great. Oh, geez, a dog did a number on him. One of the passengers is going to land that plane. 101 shot. Oh, I know this guy. Who is it? Ted Strike, who with him during the war. Won't make my job any easier tonight. Oh. And all the pieces on a particular mission. Hope that doesn't happen tonight. Altitude, 24,000 feet. Trim, mixture, wash, soak, rinse, spin. <laughs> That's not a washing machine. <laughs> What are you doing here? You, you can't fly this plane. That's what I've been trying to tell these people. Mr. Stryker, this is the only hope we've got. Oh, wow, she looks terrified. That's the thrust. This must turn on the landing lights. <laughs> Wrong switch. Mayday! Mayday! Mayday, what the hell is that? Why, that's the Russian New Year. You know we'll have a big parade. I don't think so. <laughs> Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much room for experimentation here. I've got to get out of here. Hold I don't think yourself. that's an option. <laughs> what? Everybody's going to take turns slapping her? We're all lined up to slap. Oh my god, what the? This is bizarre. That's the whole story there, Rex. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. As you know, I flew with this man Stryker during the war. Let me tell you something, Steve. That Stryker was a top-notch squadron. I want you to get on the horn and get that guy down. Talk him right down to the ground. What? <laughs> like I took the wrong week to quit drinking. Stryker, this is Captain Rex Kramer. I wonder if he remembers him. Yes, Captain Kramer, loud and clear. Uh-oh, there's a history there. You know I've never flown a bucket like this. I'm gonna need all the luck there is. All the confidence I can. That's good advice. You ever flown a motor engine plane before? No, never. Shit. Oh God no. Me. So much for the confidence building. You gotta talk him down. You gotta. Route him into Lake Michigan. At least he'll avoid killing innocent people. Oh! Flying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle. Now first, I want you to get the feel of the plane. What? <laughs> All right, now I want you to disengage the automatic pilot. Watch out you don't make any violent control movements like you did in the fighter. A uh, way to reinforce his trauma. Just remember the company compared to a fighter. Oh, no. Now don't worry about that. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Somebody there who can work the radio. <laughs> Yes, the stewardess the is here. quite having quite the encounter with the inflatable pilot. <laughs> all right, I'm going to level with you all. Most important thing now is that you remain calm. There's no reason to panic. What? <laughs> A Pinocchio reference. Oh my god. <laughs> the other two pilots are just fine. I'm oh quiet. my god. <laughs> and keep an eye on that engine gauge over there. It's running a little hot. Stryker, what kind of weather are you in up there? Rain. And a little ice. And a little ice. Sluggish, like a wet sponge. Sluggish, like a wet sponge. 
It's a damn good thing he doesn't know how much I hate his guts. I think he does. It's a damn good thing you don't know how much he hates your guts. <laughs> oh, Elaine. <laughs> Can I get you something? She mofo but a lay into the bone. Oh, my. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> I speak jive. Oh, good. Would you tell him to be back as soon as I can with some medicine? To catch up on the rebound out of medicine. The reason no dummies I duck a rap. Chomp don't want to help. Chomp don't get the help. Jive ass dude don't got no brains. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello? There's some trouble on your husband's flight. We don't know how serious it is yet, but Steve McCroskey thought you'd want to get... Is that a horse? Yes, I'll be right down. Why is there a horse in her bed? You can let yourself out the back door. There's oh this my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dr. Rumex says the sick people are getting worse. I've got to concentrate. Oh, we're going to have another flashback here. Hello? 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 Echo! 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 He's going to space out. Why don't we start down? Not just yet. I can radar range any second now. I don't understand. It should have been arranged 10 minutes ago. Oh, he got diverted somehow. It's about two more minutes, Chief. Particularly miles, of course. But we're on instruments. <laughs> there are so many puns and plays on word in this movie. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. You know, what else is, does this guy have to quit? Chief, these reporters won't leave without a statement. How much longer can those passengers hold out? Uh, half an hour and 45 minutes. Find the plane. One of the passengers. What kind of plane is it? Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes, wheels, and it looks like a big tile and all. <laughs> That's an interesting description. They can get newspapers out that quickly? Wow. It's almost as fast as social media now. I say, let them crash. Ooh. I don't think you can sneak that onto planes. Would you like a little whiskey, man? Maybe they didn't check Second as carefully not. back then. Oh, <laughs> that's even better than whiskey, I guess. We're running out of time. Surely there must be something you can... I'm doing everything I can. Now stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> Randy, are you all right? I've never been so scared. I'm 26 and I'm not married. We're going to make it. Do you have any idea when we'll be landing? Pretty soon. How are you bearing up? I've never been so scared. At least I have a husband. Oh, ouch. Poor Randy. Target should be clear if you go in low and you will have to decide. Oh. You will have to decide. You will have to decide. I love the dissolve there. Boss number four. I forgot to check the oil pressure. Kramer hears about this. The shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> oh, quite literally. That plane can't land itself. It takes a pilot who can handle pressure. He hasn't flown for years. It's not his fault. That's right. I can't take the pressure. I was crazy to think I could land this plane. Oh. I don't have what it takes. The inflatable man does. Oh, shoot. Elaine's gonna have to do it. The fog is getting thicker. And Leon's larger! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Someone's gonna give Ted a pep talk. <laughs> what is with throwing the drink on his face? I know what you're gonna say, so save your breath. I don't have a thing to say. You can't expect to win them all. I want to tell you something. I was in the war myself. I was on late duty one night when they brought in a badly wounded pilot up at me and Doc. He said, the Captain made the right decision. The pilot's name was George Zip. George Zip said that? The last thing he said to me, Doc, he said, Tell them to get out there and give it all they got and win just one for the zipper. <laughs> Excuse me, Doc. Oh, he's going back in there. I've got a plane to land. Well, the doctor, the doctor uh, handled them a lot better than that other guy, Rex, that Rex guy. This was a fog list, we'll bring in. Don't take it, Elaine. Listen to me, Kramer. We've got to land now. I'm ordering you to stay up there. I'm giving the orders and we're coming in. I guess the foot's on the other hand now, isn't it, Kramer? The foot's on the other hand. <laughs> kind of mixed up your metaphor there. Passengers certain to die. Airline negligence. There's a sale at Penny's. Oh, jeez. Stand by, Stryker. We're going to the tower. The tower? The tower? Rapunzel! Oh my god, that guy's crazy. <laughs> How soon do we land? Oh, it won't be long now. Try not to worry. I think she wanted a more precise answer than that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't think that's the right movie to play. We're now at 2,000 feet beginning our descent. I wonder if he 
like you can get poured onto that field. Being done right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Disco lives forever. You can't come straight in. Listen to me, Kramer. I may bend your precious airplane, but I'll get it down. The passengers are ready. Better leave, sweetheart. You might get hurt up here. I wanted you to know I'm very proud. Tell him the gear is down and we're ready to land. All right, he's on final now. Put on all runway lights except Niner. Oof. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh, the pressure. Aim the touchdown a third of the way along. Land too fast, use your emergency brakes. Red handles right in front of you. That doesn't stop you. What is she doing? <laughs> you should be able to see the field now. Sure is quiet out there. Uh, too quiet. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Oh my god. <laughs> what habit does he not have? <laughs> there it is. There he is! Okay. Coming in too fast! I know, I know! He knows, he knows! Sound your alarm bell, now! Get in crash position! Oh, oh that's not the crash positions! People just panic, they don't even pay attention. What? I just, what an asshole! Just kidding. Oh my god, this guy is too much! Coming in too fast, watch your speed! He's coming right at us! What? Coming in too hot! Oh my god, I have no idea what to expect for this landing. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, but who knows? Okay. Oh, he's all over the plate. Okay. Oh, wow. The polar red handle! Oh, shit! I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh, wow. Now arriving, gate 8, gate 9, gate 10. Oh. Oh my god, there's no way he can generate that much sweat. Gate 14. <laughs> Everybody's getting exercise. Ooh. Out of here, look behind me, it's a twister, it's a twister. 24, 25. Oh, that's somewhat of a successful ending. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. What? Did he not know it landed already? Ted, that was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this airport. There's some of us here would like to buy you a drink and shake your hand. Yeah, he did great considering. Ted, I just want you to know that when the going got rough... Oh, he missed the last part of his message. I was never happy as a child. Christmas, Ted, what does that mean to you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Municipal bonds, Ted. Double A rating. Best investment in America. He's just gonna keep talking to himself all night? Aww. So I assume these two are gonna get back together and probably get married? Something's gonna happen here. <laughs> he's just- he's gonna take off. <laughs> I can't fly like that. Didn't even pick up the passengers. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, it seemed like, wow, that was a quick movie. I'm just gonna make sure there are no post credit scenes. Oh, okay, we do. Okay. So that guy was a basketball player. So I think these are just all the credits here. Uh, I'm just gonna go through and make sure there's no post credit scene. Okay, so it looks like that is pretty much the end of the movie. Okay, that was Airplane. That was very different than what I'm used to seeing. It was very funny, a little bit lewd, but not a lot to say other than a lot of uh, a lot of hilarious moments. One of the one of the things I, I found really interesting was there were a lot of play on words. You would have somebody say something and something going on in a completely different different scene that basically showed you what those words were saying but in a, in a different way so you had the pun the the figurative meaning going on and then the literal meaning happening at exactly the same time perhaps in a different place like when the poop hit the fan so to speak um you actually had poop hitting the fan in the um 
in the airport office. So, so the relationship between Ted and Elaine was very interesting. The whole premise was that Ted was in World War, one of the wars, maybe. I'm not probably the Vietnam War, I'm guessing. And just by the age of the movie and his age, and he had obviously a mission go wrong that ended up in the deaths of some of his call seven i believe is of his colleagues and so he suffered post-traumatic stress disorder and didn't want to fly on a plane again and obviously so elaine left him because he never ended up getting a job so he decided to be brave enough to get on the flight and to go with elaine to try to win her back and uh pretty much the poop hit the fan, so to speak. There was food poisoning and bad weather, and somehow he still managed to land the plane, which was crazy. The uh, Ted stories, no, nobody liked Ted stories. There were people, everybody that sat beside him <laughs> laughed, so to speak. And the, the little boy that went into the cockpit, really cute. Now, I'm not sure if people are actually allowed to go into the cockpit or not. Probably not, but it was uh, a lot of, well, obviously, a lot of what happened in the movie was not realistic. And you kind of, you kind of have to suspend your judgment or you suspend your belief, I guess, in terms of some of the stuff that went on. I liked all of the dif different, um, the different passenger profiles, all of the different different, I guess, people that we got to meet. I guess the co-pilot was really a basketball player. I didn't uh, didn't realize that. That's kind of cool. And he was actually a basketball player in real life as well. The religious people at the airport were when the, I guess when the people entered the entrance to the airport, there were a lot of religious people. It was it was pretty funny. These days, I don't know if that's the case. One thing I want to comment on was the plane. It looked like it was the tech, the uh, the seats looked like they were much bigger in a 1980s airplane than they are today. It looks looks like a lot more room, even though there were three seats. The airplane meals actually look pretty good from what I saw. So it looks like uh, it looks like the airlines were in pretty good shape back then. I mean, they are now too, but there's also budget cuts. It was really interesting. I, I've heard that there's an airplane too. For you guys that are, are familiar with the sequels or familiar with the airplane franchise, if you guys could drop a comment, I would love to hear from you. I would love you to let me know if it's worth watching airplane too if it's just as funny if you know if it's not really that good tell me you know not to waste my time not to bother with it if there's also other comedy recommendations you have for me that are similar to that it was uh basically 85 minutes of laughter so it was a lot of fun if there's other comedy either from the same time period from the 80s that are like the movies that are like Airplane or even um, pre more present day comedies that you think I'd be interested in. Anything like a, an Adam Sandler or Will Ferrell movie. I've seen the odd one, um, but I definitely like to check more out. Anyways, it was it was a great ride. Feel free. Remember to smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Check out my other content. It was a lot of fun being with you today and I'll see you guys in the next one.